Hello, hello. Welcome to Rise Above with Tammy Lynn. I'm Tammy Lynn, and I'm honored to have this opportunity to speak into your life, to empower and encourage you to continue running your race, fighting that good fight of faith, and finishing strong in Jesus' name. I am here with a roar of restore over your marriage. The Lion of Judah is roaring restore over your marriage. The chief cornerstone, he is coming in and he has taken his rightful place in your marriage. He is relaying the foundation in your marriage. He is replacing the broken windows in your marriage, the shattered glass in your marriage, the shattered dreams, the broken promises. He is repairing the holes in the roof. He is dealing with the pride. He is dealing with the stubbornness. He is dealing with the hard heart of that spouse that walked away from you and abandoned their covenant with you and with God. The one who is living in rebellion against God. The Lord says he is bringing down the pride. He is dealing once and for all with Leviathan. He is bringing total defeat to Leviathan. Leviathan is the king of pride and Leviathan is a covenant breaking spirit and he has been exposed and his time is up and the Lord says that he is now bringing that spouse that you have been praying for he is now bringing them to their knees in humility glory hallelujah he says he is dealing with them he is softening their hearts he has caught their attention and there is going to be the divine turnaround there is going to be the u-turn they are doing a u-turn in the name of jesus and returning to the lord in humility repentance and remorse and then they are going to be coming back to you and when they return to you they are not going Going to be the same. You pray for a return, but you're going to get an Ephesians 3.20 answer to your prayers. Glory. Hallelujah. And the Lord says you need to be ready to extend the olive branch. You need to make sure that you are ready for this moment because this moment is coming because he is a promise maker and he is a promise keeper and it is due season and he is going to make good on his word on that promise that he made to you. He says that this is the time that they are going to return to you and this will now be your opportunity to be a reflection of Christ to them. He says, you better make sure you don't have stones in your hands. You better make sure you have an olive branch ready to extend. Because if you don't, you're going to mess it up. You're going to mess up what his plans are. You pray for this moment and you are about to come to the real test to see if you're really ready. Because they're about to show up in the name of Jesus. And the Lord says that he wants you to extend the olive branch to them. He wants you to extend grace to them, mercy to them. And he says... He he wants you to forget the past. He says that he is doing a new thing and it is a new wineskin season. Glory, hallelujah. And for somebody, he says you have been grieving and wanting back that old spouse. He said he's not bringing back that old spouse. He's bringing back the back the spouse that he intended for them to be all along, which is the head and not the tail, which is someone who fears him, which is someone who has their life surrendered to him, fully submitted to him, which is somebody that allows him to be the Lord over all areas of their life. Glory. Hallelujah. So he says that you're not going to get the old one back and it's time to let it go because he is doing a new thing and this is a new wineskin season. He says he has done a work in you and that now that what he is bringing back together and he is bringing it back together for his glory. And when the two of you come back together, you're not going to need therapy. You're not going to need somebody to help you heal from the things of the past because he is bringing total restoration and he is bringing this together because this is an Amos 9, 11 through 15 season. He is bringing forth the restoration and the two of you are going to go forth really fast. You're going to begin to testify to others because he said the reason why he was restoring your marriage is because he has a kingdom plan for your marriage and before you didn't realize that, before you rejected him in either every area or some areas and if you reject the chief cornerstone in one area then you rejected him and that was when the enemy had the open door and he came in like a thief that he is and he stole your marriage he stole your spouse but the Lord says this is payback time and you are getting it back you are getting them back in the name of Jesus so the two of you are going to be going forth everything's going to be happening really fast you're going to get the knock at the door you're going to get the phone call you're going to get 
the email. You're going to get the text message. And then you're going to start making phone calls. Because we've learned in his word that when the woman found that coin, that one that she lost, that thing that was precious to her, she picked up that phone and she started telling everybody about it. She started giving God glory for it. She called forth the celebration. We see in the story of the prodigal son, the father, as soon as the son returned, he didn't cast a stone. He didn't even ask him, what have you been doing? Where have you been? How could you have been so foolish? No, he got everybody together and he prepared a great celebration. Again, everything is going to go really fast. You're going to get that knock, that phone call, that text message, that email, and you're going to start making phone calls for the celebration, for others to come together to hear the I do all over again as God brings forth this divine reset glory. Hallelujah. So family, I'm here to tell you that right now he is repairing the holes in the roof. And I know this and I know that it is time because he allowed there to be two holes in my roof the other day. I was sitting preparing to do a few videos and just enjoying my time with the Lord and hearing the sound of the abundance of rain on my roof. And then next thing you know, I'm hearing some water drop. Water dropping out in my Florida room. This is one of my favorite rooms. It's a peaceful room. It's a room that I prepared for people to come so they can lie down in peace and they can be comfortable when they come to stay with me. It is one of the favorite rooms. I love looking out of the windows, the natural sunlight that comes in during the day. And next thing you know, in my favorite room, there are some raindrops coming through, some rain coming through. And I looked and looked and there was only two. And in that moment, rather than become stressed, I began to say hallelujah because I knew that he was showing me that what he was doing in marriages. I knew that the two was about the two that he had joined together. They were right there side by side. And he then spoke to me the next day when I was driving and I heard of my spirit enhanced covenants. I knew about covenants. I didn't know what he was talking about with, in, with uh, enhanced. And so I went and I t went to look it up and I had read in there that enhanced is to further improve the quality. And the Lord immediately took me back to the leaks in my roof, the holes in my roof. And he says that he is bringing forth quality, that he has got to do this. See, the leaks in the roof affects the quality of my living. It affects the quality of my Florida room. I've got some precious stuff out there, stuff that money can't buy, stuff that came from my mama, things that I had when I was a child that are dear to me. And that those holes in that roof, it affects the quality of that room. So the Lord was showing me that now I am doing it. For my namesake, I am doing it. I am repairing the holes in the roof. I am dealing with their pride. I'm breaking down that stubbornness. I'm delivering them from the Leviathan. Glory, hallelujah, family. Oh my goodness. I hope y'all are hearing what the Lord is saying. Because there has only been one thing that has kept you from the fulfillment of the promise. And that one thing has been pride. That one thing thing has been Leviathan, but the Lord says he is dealing with Leviathan and he is bringing total defeat to this one. He sure is. Leviathan has had his time. He came in like a thief. He filled your spouse with that pride. He caused them to have a stubborn heart. He lied to them, causing them to think that you were the problem, causing them to think that they were better off without you. Pride. Pride was the root of it, but the Lord says he is getting down to the root. He is dealing with the root and he is like uprooting it glory hallelujah so i am telling you family the lord has says this is due season this is the year of gamel he has even spoken christmas miracles i don't know the exact day people of god i'm not going to prophesy that i'm only going to tell you what i've been hearing the lord tell me due season christmas miracles for his namesake he is going to do it year of gamel the year of gamel that is a time that it is repayment upon the enemy the enemy is going to pay for ever touching your marriage. He sure is. Glory, hallelujah. And the repayment is going to come with your restoration and your harvest. Because when he repays you and you go forth and you tell others what the Lord your God did for you, you are going to reap a harvest for the kingdom of God. Glory, hallelujah. So again, family, he is saying he is dealing right now, right now with their stubbornness, right now with their pride. And I'm going to encourage you, family, to pray for them. Pray and intercede. Intercede on 
on their behalf. You are the one that is joined to them. You are one flesh. You are the most powerful prayer warrior they have in their life. So pray, people of God. You're not praying, asking God to do it. You're you're giving him thanks that he's doing it. What you're praying for is a hedge of their protection. You pray, Lord, let the eyes of their understanding be open. Lord, go ahead and soften their heart. Lord, remove the scales from their eyes. Pray, people of God. Pray for them and be giving thanks to God for their return. Glory, hallelujah, because they are returning in the name of Jesus. And again, upon that return is going to be your opportunity to show who you really are in Christ. It is going to be a huge test for you. You are either going to cast a stone, causing them to go away again, or you are going to extend the olive branch. And through you, they are going to end up coming to completion of their healing. Because see, they know that they've messed up. And many of them are going to struggle with the return. They're going to return because they're going to have that spirit of David. Like when David returned to Ziglag and found all of his family gone, everything gone, they're going to have this moment where they're going to inquire of the Lord because in their repentance and their humility, they're going to say, I messed up. I should have never walked away from them. I had it better off over there with her. I had it better off over there with him. Lord, what should I do? So when they inquire of the Lord, just like David did, the Lord's going to speak speak to him, them, him, her, just like he did to David. And he's going to say, pursue, and you're going to recover all because see, they were blinded by the enemy. They've been living with spiritual blinders on. That's why they've been acting foolish. That's why they've been doing dumb things. That's why they've been rebelling against the Lord. Even though they've been claiming that they know God, some of them still showing up in church, but living in pure rebellion to God. But I am telling you family that they're going to return to you and they're going to return with in humility because they're going to realize that they, they lost something. The enemy stole some stuff from them. But when they return, they're going to have a little struggle within them because they know that they messed up and they don't fully know your position. They don't fully know where your, your heart is. But once they receive that grace, once they receive that mercy, once they see that they are forgiven, the Lord is going to use you to immediately bring total restoration to their soul. That's why you're not going going to need therapy because the Lord is dealing with them. He's been dealing with you. He's been helping you during this time. He's been healing you during this time. But I'm telling you, the enemy is a thief. You already know he's been contending against this promise. He's been contending against this fulfillment. So he would love the opportunity for them to show up and for you to cast a stone only to see them walk away again. Don't you do it. You better be wise and you better be better than that. Be better, not bitter in the name of Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Family, I hope that that word blessed you. Continue to stand firm on the word of God. Stay strong in your faith. And I will talk to you all soon. Shalom.